Physipod offers a terrific range of electrical stimulators. These are nerve and muscle stimulators, and their function is primarily to reduce pain, improve blood flow, circulation, relax muscle spasm, and just improve circulation generally through an injured part. It can assist with tissue healing, and it can also assist with wound healing. So we have three models available. This is the TU4. TU just simply is TENS unit, and as you can see at the top of it, we have four ports. So off each port, we would have a lead. Now, we'll just go through how to attach the leads. So we can do that with four leads, and the end of each lead, we have two split leads. So they go on, onto an electrode each. So with this TU4, you can put up to eight pads on your body at any one time. So this allows you to cover two different areas at the same time, or you can treat one large area with eight pads and really blast the whole thing. All right, this TU4 has 42 preset programs. So you can't uh, alter the parameters in this at all. It's strictly point and shoot. But it covers the broad spectrum of things, from chronic pain to acute pain to uh, circulatory problems, muscle spasm type problems. And this is all explained to you in the, the booklet that comes with it. All right, we also have its little brother, which is the TU2. So this unit, as you can see, has two ports, so we can have up to four electrodes on at the same time. All right, quite easy to use, just clicks, turns it on. Now we have 20 programs in this, 10 are preset, point and shoot, that makes it pretty easy for those who don't want to have to think about it, and 10 that you can change the parameters on. So in this instance, you could take this to your physio or treating practitioner, and if they weren't happy with the parameters, it gives them 10 choices to alter and manage things however they feel would be best suited to your condition. All right, so four pads to treat the area with this one, eight, up to eight pads with the TU4, and then we also have this one, which is called the MT8000. So this unit has two ports, so four pads at any one time. All of them run off batteries. This one also has an adapter, so you can use it on uh, power, AC power. All right, so both of these units, the TU4 and the TU2, are combinations of TENS, which is a nerve stimulator, and EMS, which is a muscle stimulator. So that's two different modalities in each of these machines. The MT8000 has four different modalities. So it has the TENS, which is primarily pain relief. EMS, which is a muscle stimulator. It has microcurrent. And microcurrent is like the circulation booster. So that's to improve blood flow, improve lymphatic drainage, helps with wound healing, helps with tissue regeneration, a number of things. And it also has the fourth modality, which is interferential. So previously, interferential was only available to you through your physiotherapist or health practitioner in the treatment rooms. The interferential is now available to use at home. It's safe. It's the same output as that you would receive at your medical practitioners. But it's in this little tiny device for you to use at home. Comes with a belt clip. So you just clip that on to your trousers or your shirt and away you go with your treatment. Again, quite easy to use with the backlit LED uh, function here and you choose the modality. So TENS, EMS, microcurrent or interferential according to the condition that you're having treated and away you go. For simplicity, we're just gonna run through now some of the more common injuries that might be treated with TENS or EMS or interferential and microcurrent. So if you had a lower back problem, I haven't attached the leads, as you can see. I've just got the electrodes on here. So you would attach four of the electrodes, roughly, circling the, the main area of pain. So if this is where your pain is, this is where you would put the electrodes. For lower back pain with associated buttock or thigh pain, so some sciatic radiation of pain, I would put two either side of the main pain in the back and two just below where the sciatic nerve exits the, the buttock. All right, so your sciatic nerve comes off the lower back here, passes through the mid buttock, and down the thigh. So as you can see, position on the leg here, this would be an ideal configuration for someone who'd recently torn their calf or strained their calf muscle or just had that tired, achy leg. So we'd put two on either side of the calf muscle at the top and two electrodes lower down. The rule is you shouldn't really have the electrodes any closer than around five centimetres apart, otherwise the current will jump into the other electrode rather than into the body. 
All right. So again, don't place the electrodes over an open wound. And as long as the skin is clean and dry, you should be fine. If your skin's oily, you might need to pre-wash the skin before you put the electrode on. So an ideal placement for neck and shoulder pain would be something like we've got here on Cameron. So one electrode either side on the upper trapezius, that big muscle that's always full of tension, and two in this mid thoracic area. So again, not having the electrodes closer than five centimetres apart and circling the main area of pain. If your pain was more sort of one-sided, then we would adjust these electrodes to accommodate. So we might have one on that outer shoulder, one on the lower ribs, one in the middle here, and this one here you could place closer over the neck. So again, we're circling that whole area for anyone with neck and right-sided shoulder pain. So if you had just a straight shoulder pain that wasn't really associated with the neck, this would be an ideal placement for the electrodes. One over the posterior rotator cuff muscles, so over the back of your shoulder blade. One just on the upper part of your triceps. One on the front part of your deltoid. And the other one mirroring this one, so just on the front part of your shoulder there. So that will cover this whole square, with the main pain being here in the center. This would be an ideal placement for someone who had elbow pain or post-operative uh, elbow trouble or a tennis elbow. So we have two either side of the elbow above the joint, this is the joint line here, and two below. Alternatively, you could do without these two and just have these two if it was a tennis elbow. You can also, you don't need to use the electrode this size. Your machine will come with an electrode that's smaller than this. You could use the small one here as well. This would be an ideal electrode placement for anybody with knee problems. So knee swelling, knee pain, medial ligament strain, anything muscle or tendon or ligamentous, TENS and EMS will help. So either side of the knee joint above it and either side of the knee joint below. To remove the electrodes, you need to carefully lift one of the corners, peel it back, like so. Our skin usually has little bits of dry skin on it, so when I'm finished with these, I dab some water on my fingers and just dab that onto the electrode, wipe the dead skin off, give it a shake, and then you place it back on the paper that it came with. And all four electrodes must be kept within an airtight bag. So you need to put them into, back into the Ziploc bag, fold them away, and seal it tightly. If you're not going to use the electrodes for a while, you place them in the fridge and that will prolong their life. If at any time the gel on this starts to deteriorate or you can see anything metal through here with the leads inserted into the gel, then you need to replace your electrodes. It depends on the care of your electrodes as to how long they'll last and how dry or how oily your skin is. If you've got very hairy body parts, so really hairy arms, hairy legs, and you're going to be using the TENS often, it might be wise for you to just shave that patch of skin where the electrode's going to go, and that will help the, the contact of the electrode gel adhere to your skin, and you'll get a better current flow through that.